Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to do a little update, and I made this layout um, under four hundred dollars. So let's get into it um, real quick. So sorry. Um, so here's how I made this. Um, this cost me under four hundred dollars. It cost me around three hundred seven dollars. I don't know. I got some other things, so I don't know if that added up that I didn't use with this. So the first thing that I did was I bought two of these styrofoam things. These are both, I think, um, I don't know how big they are, but two of them. I'm going to put them together. Um, then I bought one of the Bachman, I think Santa Fe, um, just a circle train set. I could only fit a circle on here, um, so that's what I did. Um, then I bought gravel, bought the building car and a pack of trees um and then i put this all together also i bought a roll of turf um and this super glue because they need them. so here's how i did this so first off i had to roll all of this onto here and tape it down which was a pain um then i had to put all of this under there and smoothing it out I put down the track and I glued it down with the super glue so now it won't come off here. Then um, I took the trees and glued them down. As you can see, I can't, I can't pull on them. Either can I this one or any other. On the building I put down here, it's like a little diner. I got zoom in a little bit. It's very small. I'm gonna try to get a thing, but this is also glued on there. So I'll try to pick it up, but it won't. It won't work. Um, I got a sign here. Oh, the thing. Car I just wanted to get for the road to look real nice, and I knocked over my train. On to it. Um, I will fix it later. It is end scale, so it's gonna do this. Um. I also got the gravel to make the road only, but I did not glue it down, which was a mistake, and it got everywhere. Uh, I tried putting tape over it, but I decided it looks terrible. Uh, how do you see? Tape, tape marks. Um, I get the tape off. Um, but it was really hard to make. Um, Surprisingly, it looks like all I did was take a circle and some trees and put it down and I'm done. No, see, I had to make, I had to measure some of this. I had to figure out if I, this was portable, some of the tape. It was trial and error. Um, and I had to buy three things of glue. I had to go back to the store and buy more glue. Because um, my first glue ran out. I had to go get, get a lot more glue. Um, now, you may be thinking, Trent, I can just use all the stuff I have at home and it will cost, and it will be free. Well, there are beginners out there, and this is just a video for some of the beginners. I know it's low quality, but still. Like, I don't, I don't even care if it's low quality. I just want to make videos. Um, there's nothing really else to this. Um... I got this from Hobby Town USA. You can kind of, you can see where the tape marks are, how big these are. Um, I'm very lucky that this fit. Some of the, like as you can see, like I had some trial and error right here with this. I had to cut out some sections, as you can see. There's a piece. Get it up. The last step to this was ballasting the track, which I feel I did pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's it, and um, we're going to put the train on. It's not my first time running the train. It's my first time on camera running it. Oh. Yeah, the track is not the best with the gravel. But as you can see, it does run. Um, now this is portable. And if you're at Railroad Days next year, you might see me with this. Um, 
Now, I'm not going to say this is my first layout, um, but it is my first end scale layout, actual complete layout. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, and I'll see you later.